Now that we know the basics of how to set up a REDCap project, let's look at how to use surveys in REDCap. First, enable surveys under Main Project Settings on the Project Setup page. Then, go into the Online Designer to choose which forms to enable as a survey. Forms within a project may be a mix of regular and survey forms. Enabling a form as a survey will take you into Survey Settings. The first option within Survey Settings is whether the survey should be active or not. Next, give the survey a title. This title is what participants will see when they take the survey. By default, the title of the survey is the same as the form, but if you want to use something different, change it in this section. You may also create instructions that will appear after the title at the top of the survey. These instructions can include piping. For more information about piping, click on the How to Use Piping Here link under the text box. More information about finding basic HTML can be found in our REDCap guide at libguides.pcom.edu slash REDCap. Under Survey Design Options, you can set up the look of the survey, including adding a logo. Standard radio buttons and checkboxes can be used, such as those shown in the data entry tutorial, or enhanced radios and checkboxes can be incorporated to create a larger button that is easier to select on a mobile or touchscreen device. You can specify the size and font of your survey text and the survey theme. There are a variety of pre-programmed themes within REDCap, including a PCOM theme, or you can customize your own theme. Once you've created a custom survey theme, you can copy the custom survey design to other surveys in any other project you might work on later. More customization options are available under Survey Customizations. Question numbering is formatted as either auto-numbered or custom-numbered. If you're using branching logic on the survey, you'll have to use custom numbers to denote how you want to handle hidden fields. Questions can display on one page or across multiple pages, divided by sections. If a survey is divided into multiple pages, the yellow divider will appear to a survey participant as a Next and Previous button. We recommend dividing a survey into pages so that surveys are easier to complete and because data is sent to the server and saved when the Next or Previous buttons are clicked. This way, if a participant drops out before completing the survey, a partial response is still recorded. If surveys are on multiple pages, Page numbers can be displayed at the top of each page, and the Previous button can be removed to keep participants from changing completed answers. Required fields have the option to include a must-provide-value red text next to the field. If you include required fields, the survey participants will not be able to continue the survey until those fields are complete. If there are doubts about whether survey participants will be willing to supply an answer to a question, do not make it required. You can also choose whether you want survey respondents who have completed the survey to be able to view the combined results of all respondents. For example, they would then be able to see that 75% of participants chose choice A. RedCap also has the option of text-to-speech functionality, which will read the question and answer choices to the survey participant However, this option has to be enabled by the survey creator. You can also choose whether text-to-speech is on by default or whether participants have to click Enable Speech at the top right of the survey. When enabled, participants can click the speaker icon next to any survey text to hear it read out loud. Under Survey Access, you can set a response limit, time limit, 
and expiration date if desired. You can also choose if participants have an option to save and return later. Under Survey Termination Options, there are three different options on how to end a survey. One option is to have text pop up to thank participants for taking the survey. HTML and piping can be used in the text pop-up to personalize the thank you. If the project has multiple surveys, you also have the option to auto-continue to the next survey as soon as the participant clicks Submit. You can also redirect the participant to a specific URL upon survey completion. This feature is useful to direct participants to a project homepage, a page that contains further information about the project, or a page that collects information for incentives when completing an anonymous survey. In this last case, the best practice is to create two REGCAP projects, one for the main survey and one that collects contact information for where to send an incentive. The first survey should automatically redirect to the incentive survey. These two surveys cannot be linked, which keeps the original survey anonymous. The final survey termination options are whether to automatically archive a PDF copy of each response in the project's file repository, and whether to email a completion confirmation to the participant. When settings are complete, click the Save Changes button at the bottom of the page. More customizations for surveys are located in the Online Designer. The first customization is the Survey Queue, which is a to-do list of all surveys in a project. Select which surveys are included and when they'll be displayed to participants. The survey queue ensures that included surveys are only displayed after specific logic is met. Here, I'm not activating the Demographics Plus survey because I want all participants to take it first. However, depending on how participants answer my first survey, I might want to send them to a follow-up survey entitled Barriers to Diabetes Adherence. This survey should only be sent to participants who completed the preliminary demographic survey, Demographics Plus, and indicated that they were positively diagnosed with diabetes. You can choose whether to have the secondary survey start automatically and look as if it's a continuation of the same survey, or choose to have the secondary survey appear on the survey queue after the initial survey is completed. The default setting is for the secondary survey to automatically start. If you choose to use the survey queue, go to the survey settings and turn off auto continue. Other survey options are survey login and survey notifications. Survey login requires users to log into surveys with information already saved in previous surveys. For example, once a user has completed a demographic survey, you can require them to enter their date of birth and last name. for any future surveys to confirm their identity. Survey notifications allows you or other survey administrators to receive an email every time a participant completes a survey. Another survey option is automated invitations. With automated invitations, you can set conditions about who the follow-up survey is sent to, just as you could with the survey queue. You can also choose when to send the survey after the conditions are met in the initial survey. Immediately, on a specific date, or after a certain amount of time has passed. This option is a great way to set up a pre- and post-study, or if you have a form such as a diary that participants need to fill out every day or every week. You can enable reminders and choose whether or not you want the survey invitation to be active. Finally, you can have repeating instruments within a survey. 
such as this personal doctor survey example. In the survey settings, you have an additional option under survey termination options to allow respondents to take the survey again. You can customize the text of the button with the set custom text for the button box. You can also choose whether you want participants to choose to take the survey again before or after it's submitted. Let's see what this looks like for participants. In record status dashboard, I can go into any record for my personal doctor's survey and have the option to open the survey as if I am a participant. After a participant completes the form, they have the option to submit and take the survey again. This creates a blank version of the survey ready for the participant to fill out again. That is the basics of how you set up surveys in RegCap. In our next tutorial, we'll cover how to manage survey participants.